Welcome, everybody, to another night of Squad Ops. It is currently Wednesday, the 20th of September, and we're running Operation Fish Hook tonight at squadops.gg. Squadops.gg is a one-life event open to all. Uh, you can learn more about Squad Ops at squadops.gg. Watch more at youtube.com slash squad ops or twitch.tv slash squad ops. Uh, I'm joined by Tedish. Tedish is one of our admins and commentators. Tedish, say hello. How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome. My name is Karmacut. I'm the founder and director here at Squad Ops, and we're going to be commenting over the Squad Ops One Life event, Operation Fishhook. Uh, we're joined behind the scenes with Penn. Penn is going to be putting together the multicam for you guys. As always, we have those multiple camera perspectives. We're going to be cycling through those right now. And as we cycle through those camera, you'll see at the top right of your screen, there's a name related to that camera, and that is the perspective of which you're watching. It's a really high quality stream going on for you guys today. Uh, teams are getting set here. But uh, you can see both teams are getting set. Operation Fish Shook is a very interesting operation. Uh, as always, these are one life events. So these events mean that once you are down, you cannot be revived. That is it. You get one life and that's it. Uh, in this operation, we do have recruits who are used as uh, a, a squad behind, behind lines. And uh, the objective is of this operation is for Russia to go and retrieve them and uh, rescue them. Uh, we're going to pull up the operation overlay here, which will show you all the assets used for this operation. And uh, this was made by our content creation team, which has a ton of cool uh talent behind it and uh you can see right here the assets as far as weapons and vehicles that are being utilized by both sides tonight uh so we're gonna see as always we do two rounds we do one rounds uh watching the uh one team command on russia and then we do a team swap and we'll cover the second uh round from russia's pr perspective again but with a uh, different command structure so right now we take a look at the assets and as we shift to the second page, you'll see the operation rules and uh, outline for the uh, operation tonight. It's a pretty good one. This one has uh, a lot of variability in it. Those, uh, a lot of variability. Little recruit squad, recruit squad uh, hiding somewhere. Um, yeah, it makes for some great James Bond moments. Some hiding in the grass, they're walking over you. What was that map in COD? Yeah, as we look at the map, uh, we're playing on Kordok, yeah. What do you think about the Gordok layer now that it's this big? It's <laughs> huge. There's there's so much room to maneuver. Um, yeah, lots of room for those vehicles, Wait, and it's a great it's a great map for it, especially with that river right down the middle, uh, cutting it in half. What is it? Yeah, for those of you that don't know, every black box here on the map is 300 by 300 meters. So this map is quite large. Uh, this is one of the largest maps right now on Squad. It takes like 10, maybe even. 15 I minutes to get from one side to the other. To run across the thing. I mean, driving yeah. Oh, to run across? across? Oh, wait, to run across would take like an hour. <laughs> this map is that big. It's it's actually insane, the scale of this map. But we're about to start the briefing here. And uh, Russian uh, is going to start. Crisis averted. All right. Paradise will explain Jack, you are going to on that? I believe. I believe yeah, we're starting the, the briefing here soon. Dropping one of them up here. And they're going to the far east, like this area. So while we wait for the squad leaders to get uh, their briefing going, right, we're going to take a look at the... Uh, oh, no, nope, looks like we're doing a brief now. This is the plan. Off live, squad three, which is myself, and squad two, which is Paradise, we are loading up into the trans truck. We're going to take the trans truck over to the uh, enemy fob mark in Golf 6 keypad 5. From there, we're going to dismount the two squads and we're going to walk them in uh, to Neva Lower, uh, just to the east of Bunker. And it will look like that. From there, uh, we're going to see if any enemies are rushing to the bridges or um, if we hear any vehicles. If we start to take contact, we're going to immediately fall back to Shipping Yard. So as soon as the first person on the friendly side of squad two and three dies, everyone else pulls back to the uh, vehicle and we get the heck out of there. While this is going on... You're actually cresting the hill, Jack. While this is going on, uh, we have squad one loading up into the MTLBs. Are they t your squad one's taking both MTLBs, right? Yes. Shadow's yeah. taking, squad yes. One's taking both You're just MTLBs taking the transport truck, and then the, the second you fucking team. start losing people, or like it looks like you're gonna get overwhelmed, you run away. They're gonna oh take God. it across the bridge onto the Akeem side, and they're gonna move over to the uh, the MG mark in Mike Five Keypad Six, and then they're gonna move down to the mound with in Mike Eight, and then they're gonna swing in We're into basically the industrial and the mound the shit out of and them. Uh, go to the friendly fob mark, pick up the recruits and exfil the same way. Okay. So while Squad Two and Three are creating the diversion, 
Squad 1 with both vehicles, uh, flanks basically the entire edge of the map, sweeps in, picks our boys up, and X fills the same way. So like I said, as soon as Squad 2 and 3 take contact, they pull back to our defensive location where we're going to regroup Squad 1 and the recruits. Just remember, listen to your squad leads and your fire team leads for instruction. Uh, don't lone wolf. Let's have a good one, boys. Does anyone have any questions? Um. The exfil is marked on the map. I don't know if we ever mentioned it. It's not actually Shipping Yard. It's southeast of Shipping Yard. Yeah, sorry. The it's the apartments. Yeah, it's the fob, the friendly apartment fob marker. Yeah, it's, it's the apartment actually, buildings. It's the lone apartment building near the gas station. It's sort of cut in half by the road and the railroad tracks. That's the actual building, but we'll probably have a couple guys in the apartment, like the, the C-shaped apartment buildings. Those three, three stories. But yeah, yeah the we get guys up in a crossfire. Is squad one booking it to that green fob marker? To pick them up? Uh, we're going a long way. We're gonna go a super, super long way. Moving okay, east. MTLBs are loud as hell, so they'll hear us from like a mile That is away. true. Well, we've got guns, we should be okay. We have guns? We have a little Does anyone else have any other guns. questions? What's a gun? If... Anyone else, any questions? I do. Squad 4 is the squad we're picking up. They're confined. All right, as we can see, that was the Russian briefing. We're going to take a look at the squad leaders and command here for the uh, the operation tonight. On the Russian team for round one, we have Shadow Ritual leading squad one, SM Pure Paradise leading squad two, LaRue leading squad three, Squid Squad is led by Silverman. They're playing the recruits. As you can see here, they have the recruit kit, so they have uh, no bandages. They are extremely weak, and they have to be extracted by the rest of the platoon. And then commanding the Russians for uh, round one here is Best Pony. Shooting it over to the militia, we have Truth Realm for uh, squad one, Silent Death for squad two, Chappie for squad three, Krusty the Sailor for squad four, and Google will be commanding the militia for round one. Once again, we talk about doing a round swap at uh, at the midway, so we'll see uh, the command swap sides, and we'll be spectating the Russians for the second time. So, yeah, those command, uh, recruit kits get uh, no bandages. What do they have? Two mags, and that's it, pretty much? Yeah, two mags and uh, no bandages. It's uh, going to be pretty dicey. Yeah, but uh, we'll see how uh, they execute it. They start somewhere in the middle, and uh, they're just hanging out, right? We we kind of briefly went over what was going on, but uh, what what do we typically see on on like on this map, this operation? Well, this operation comes down to bridge control, uh, sin uh, especially since a lot of the uh, river is unusable to by the vehicles. That's a house rule that we throw in. Um, it's a lot of uh, control over the bridges, and we can see a lot of major engagements happen along those choke points. So we'll see how uh, Russia decides to take across the bridge and get a foothold and then pick up the uh, recruits. I do believe he plans on mounting the scouts on the eastern side of the river instead of the western. So uh, that scout team is going to stay roughly where they are and uh, not move out too much. We do have two MTLBs here used by Russia. One is the 14.5 14 millimeter, and the other is the uh, 50 cal. We have a couple of stats here that we'd like to pull up. Uh, Teddy, you want to talk about these stats here on the MTLB? Sure, we can pull those up real quick. As soon as I... So the MTLB, most people know that is the noisemaker, right? The thing is definitely not stealthy. Uh, it's very armored, uh, but nice and slow. Um, Loud as hell. <laughs> yeah, you cannot sneak up on anyone, right? That, but it will hold pretty much your whole team. 19 infantry, and it's got that nice, uh, nice big machine gun on top with good optics, right? That's probably its biggest asset on maps like this, and especially when uh, in our scenarios here. So yeah. we'll see how both. As we, uh, yeah. Russia, all right, live time called for 129. That's one minute to get uh, ready, and then. Uh, Want to shout out here to Google Trex, the commander for the militia team. It is his birthday, so happy birthday, Google! Happy birthday uh, from Squad Ops, and uh, let's hope that you don't get get smashed too bad uh, tonight. But we'll, 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 good luck, good luck. We'll see what happens. How young he's turning? How young he's turning? I'm not sure. No. Because I'm pretty sure with the fog of war, they're not verified that the recruits have actually been killed. Does militia have retrieved. units on the recruit location? No, they do not, seconds. Apple. The, uh, the militia Paradise, know roughly, what, four grid squares where the uh, recruits can be. 
um, but it can be anywhere in there, and that's a large area. Like you can't, it's you can't just go in there and expect to find them. You might get lucky. You can send your forces in, and like, okay, they're probably going to come in. Actually, they have to come in and rescue them, so maybe we can intercept their forces and hit them when they're trying to get them out. But there's no definite recon. And then, so let's say the uh, the Russians get their guys out, they get those recruits and get them out, and then they all retreat up to the shipping yard, correct? And then the objective for the militia is uh, assault the shipping yard, and it becomes a, a nice attack. So here yep. we go. That is true. We didn't talk about that. Uh, I, or at least I didn't talk about that at all. Yeah, if they extract the recruits, they will be heading to shipping yard to hold uh, until uh, further orders. They're pushing the convoy out now. Trans truck in the front. I do believe they're going to split here uh, pretty soon um, as they go further north. You can see all the vehicles moving out now. That's the whole Russian platoon saved the four-man scout squad on the southeast side of the map. That's yeah. an interesting position they've taken there. Uh, that scout squad is... So, infantry and vehicles have to cross bridges, correct? They can't cross the water on this one. Yes, yes. It's full bridge control over this op. Uh, let's see if anything's... Oh, we have so, a couple r militia forces already in their technical, just speeding to get control over those bridges. Oh, they're so, we might have full force forces. contact at one of those bridges. Well, really speaking of bridges, techies, have we uh, noticed the, uh, where the recruits the have put themselves? Yeah, they are on the bridge, in the crates of the train bridge. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting position to put them. I guess they can exit on either side. However, if you've played this sure map before, you know that crossing that bridge is usually a death sentence because you're really exposed up there. So this could this could have some fun, some dwarf fortress fun. If anyone's uh, familiar with that type of deal, but it uh, should be interesting to say the least. Get down in here and see what we can see with these guys. Oh. I mean, they got good cover. I doubt anyone's going to expect to see them in here, right? They're going to hear these uh, vehicles real quick here. Pony playing it safe knows that those techies can hit him fast and hard, and they are crossing the bridge. He's going to dismount this trans uh, ahead of time, ensuring that he does not get caught. We see Russian soldiers now dismounting from the trans. They might actually see these vehicles rolling up on this uh, road here momentarily. And that is a standard dish good techie. Oh, they're going to have eyes on here momentarily at this crossroad. Oh, oh, does anyone see him? Snuck behind that building. I think he might have snuck back there. Oh, the techie's going to engage these infantry in the open. This is going to be first contact right here. I would not advise using the transport truck to and this is a target-rich environment if he's looking the right way. SPG just backed him up. Okay, they've called out the techies. Wow, that techie just smashed into that wall. Good thing vehicle damage isn't on like for collisions at this point. Confirming, uh, techies are. Oh, and those techies are going to be pushing off here momentarily. Six, five, Russians as well pulling back so into the defilade. Copy that. Are you engaged? So they saw each other. Did they? The Russian, the militia well, saw. I don't believe Russians the militia are calling saw out them. the militia techies. Yeah, Ru Russia had eyes on the militia techie, but I'm not sure if. Uh, I'm not sure if militia had eyes on Russians. This this squad leader does not see the squad off to his left. Have Falkrum go last, then the techies will fuck off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Who is this? Wow. Ballsy. True Thrill. Oh, one, one, two. one first casualty of the night is, uh, goes down. Two, you cross the, cross the, uh, We're engaged. And the Dishka is opening no up problem. on these infantry in the field. They're gonna try to return no. fire. We see the return fire command come up from this squad. They're gonna try to put fire on. Uh, there's a rocket. Look at, look at True Thrill. Just like... Rocket goes too high. They're gonna try to suppress it with small arms. They might be successful, but that is a shielded techie. That techie has a bulletproof shield, and it's gonna be pulling off here, it looks like. We do have a couple casualties uh, on the Russian That's side, nothing on the militia side yet. Right Copy that. That was a RPG's uh, coming in close. SPG techie poking out here. He might take a shot at these guys on the berm. He sees the smokes coming out on the other side here, but he can't really engage. You want to hold that SPG back until you got a vehicle to shoot at. It's really not that great at shooting. Yeah, what? Oh, 
first oh, no. SVG round goes out, nearly takes out a Russian no, infantryman over here. We got smokes popping for Russia. They're gonna try to pull off this burn. Yeah, they're pulling back. Wow, I can't believe Truth made it to this rock and, and stayed alive. I guess he's been there shooting. Yeah, a couple but, uh, Russians caught in transit in that open. There was not enough time for them to get to cover before that Dishka saw him. Dishka's gonna open up and try to suppress the broad side of this area. Uh, Russia pulling back to a more, more defensible location. This uh, little compound here with uh, vehicles. Oh, Truth gets a kill here. Takes that guy down, long range. Yeah, a lot of Russians caught in a bad spot. We got maybe three casualties for Russia already. Zero on militia side. That, that Dishka now opening up on the compound. He's just spraying around. Not really accurate. a legitimate attempt to get the recruits. They're going to either keep searching Neva But he's just going to be uh, throwing a couple rounds over here, trying to suppress these Russians as best as possible. And Decker, 97. Yes, to answer your question very quickly, uh, you need to do the SOTT boot camp in order to play in our ops, except for the first op. The first Wednesday op of each month is an open op. But other than that, you need to do SOTT, which is not... A terrible thing. Understood. Kind of fun. Get you on the same page. Good time. Highly recommend it. Truth realm. Finding another target down behind those behind those trees. Got the tech to fire on him too, and he's running. Ooh, he's running. Dodge, dive. dive he's got 50 cal fire all around him. He picks a tree, and he's just gonna sit there for the duration. Hugging that tree. He's not even moving a muscle. <laughs> he's 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 just gonna sit there. He's taking small arms plus that dish to fire, but he is, he found a nice thick tree to stay behind. Truth Realm just out at this rock, just like with his, with his glass, finding targets and picking them off. Doing a great job. Russians once again, bounding back even further. They're conceding this whole field to the uh, militia and that is a good pick, uh, especially with these two MTLBs pushing across the south right now. Yeah. In the meantime, those recruits are back there pissing their pants. Cause we lost our large yeah, we had MTOBs roll That's over that bridge. Uh, oh, small arms hitting these guys in the field. You cannot be on the field. Stick to the tree line on the left. I don't think they figured out where Truth was. And granted, there's only two of them here, but I don't think they ever figured out, hey, those rocks are hot. So now that they finally figured it out. We've got some smoke doing as much as they can, but these techies are maneuverable. This Russian squad could get caught out of position really fast. These Russians need to double time it out of there before these techies move maneuver. That techie moving fast right now, trying to get eyes on again. Where are their MTLBs? They're sneaking around right here, but the the the, the this kid techie oh, pulling up. So in the meantime, the Russian MTLBs have circled all the way around the map and are on the east so side of the mound. That's the why we're not river. seeing them in this fight. Both They're trying to sneak in river. behind and grab their recruits from the east side of the bridge, of the river. Kind of genius. So this whole play we're seeing right here is a distraction. Yeah, it is a distraction, but if they don't pull out fast enough, this is going to be a very, very costly distraction. I, I mean, that's yeah, true. They've definitely they've lost what, direct, ten? direct southwest. Am I seeing that correctly? Uh, no, there was Kirby, a couple uh, mishaps Road, early on nine, before we started here, but there. I do okay. think the total count is maybe three or four for Russia. At least one fire team. Wow. Well, actually, they yeah, one fire up. team. These techies are aggressively. Yeah, aggressively chasing. We see this SVG pushing through the smoke right now. He's on the way. Let's see if Russia can turn around and engage. Oh, he hit a tree. Oh, nope. They're still pushing. They're still pushing. Ooh, they almost ran over whoever that was. the blood. They want to end this squad, but this is not... The techies were doing well in the field. I don't, I'm not sure about bringing them into the wood line. This is not the ideal. Now Russia has the advantage. These trees are going to really obscure the line of sight. And Russia really in a good position here. Uh, the fields play towards the Dishka's uh, advantage, but this Four right here is not down. good for the for the militia. Sounded promising. Yep. Four one down, one in the Second woods. North of squad four. SPG. No, this is the uh, the. They've completely eliminated this technical crew right here with the SPG techie. They're out for the count. Russia is still fighting in the tree line. This is to Russia's advantage here. You can really see how terrain plays such a monumental role in squad ops and in squad. Both Open fields, the you got the techies advantage, but once you pull them into the trees and you lose that line of sight, you run into some major Wait, issues with the MTLBs vehicles. You? In no, the meantime, west. those MTLBs are getting right, creeping closer and they have no resistance over there. Uh, to begin to you as soon as you 
And the militia MTLBs are that. creeping up on the south side of the main MTLBs both of the prepared to, uh, here. Prepared to stop. Yeah, this sure militia MTLB move. actually oh, getting okay, really close to squad two and three of Russia. The I'm sure they can they're gonna hear them along this road any second. I'm curious if they saved any lat. I know they used a couple uh, a couple uh, rounds early on against the technicals. This MTLB now pushing into the tree line. We talked about this before. You need to be careful in the tree lines or any close engagements with the vehicles. He's got a full squad with him, it looks like. Or maybe at least a fire team, but he could be unloading some infantry. Do we see that MTLB crawling in the tree line? It's hard to drive these things through the woods. Oh, into a tree. Yep. It's nice that at least they fixed most of the vehicle physics. So flipping over a vehicle for no reason, running over a twig, and all of a sudden here's three miles in the sky is pretty rare these days. It still happens occasionally, but... Are all these Russians dead in the trees here? They, we got... No, we got one, one Russian... Poking around in the woods, looking for any malicious survivors. That MTLB now in the field where that previous engagement was. Command wants to do this without firing a shot, so if we can help it. So the recruits on this one. Oh, these are both MTLBs are over here. You can see this one actually has so many troopers. They are sitting on the top of the vehicle. Love to be in that spot in a real fight, right? <laughs> You're not exposed. It's cool, Jenny. You can sit up there. Put your helmet on. Looks like they're gonna be pushing hard to shipping, but there is a good amount of Russian infantry in the tree line on the right-hand side here. We'll see if they actually are able to engage this MTLB. I think they're not even gonna try. I think they're just gonna get the. Hell out. Well, I mean, if he follows the road, they're gonna they're gonna meet each other about 200 meters down the road. At this bend right here, they're gonna hear this thing cover coming, like we talked about before. This thing is really loud. I feel like their best recourse, and just based on the map and the direction of movement that all the Russians are going, is they're saying, all right, we're getting to the recruits. We know their whole body's chasing us. They're retreating to the town. With the NSV. So, do the militia have any clue whether or not the uh, recruits have been... Yard. I don't think Google cares. I think Google's more oriented over getting control of the LZ first and making Russia play attack once they secure. It's kind of a race right now. Can Russia's infantry make it back on foot in time? Or does MDLBs use their mobility to get there in front of the infantry? It's going to be very close here. As you can see, Russia closer to the objective, but they are scared of that MTLB. They've gone uh, firm. But this MTLB, while it does have that speed, is taking the long way around to avoid the infantry. We might have one fire team reach the uh, shipping yard for Russia before the uh, militia. And it does look like there's one squad leader over there that, as well. I think that's best pony in command over there. Um, but yeah, it looks like militia actually might dismount from here. We'll see. Engine's gone off in this MTLB. That's good. You He's do scanning. That yeah. We're just holding here. Don't get out yet. Kind At this point, the militia are being escorted off the bridge. We got a techie pushing fast to shipping and three Russian infantry out in the open. This could be very, very bad. Oh, no, he's going to turn. You can see militia really keeping up that pressure. They smell blood and they want to keep pushing. They got vehicles moving around everywhere, just searching for the Russians right now. I feel like they might not be so much securing the LZ. I think they might feel like they caught them on their back foot. They didn't let them in, and they think the recruits are still stranded behind them. This will be an interesting one to ask the commands after in the uh, interview afterwards what the heck was going through their minds. Because uh, mm -hmm. this has been an interesting. I really like that slate where they slipped in. <laughs> We're moving to the MTLB that's the MTLB. Made contact and then disappeared and snuck those guys out. That was a great, great move. I like it. Whether it pays off, we'll see. Yeah, meanwhile, this Russian squad caught out. I don't think they're going to be able to make it back. As we look at the terrain here from the... Oh, what was that? That was a random grenade. I think Pure Paradise got spooked. He's just, I think he's making a distraction over here. He just threw a grenade, he's throwing some smokes. 
As we look over here at the uh, shipping yard, you can see the terrain that that squad needs to get back here. There's a large field. There's no real way that they can get here without getting spotted. So that squad's kind of stuck until MTLB support arrives. We do have a couple of militiamen pushing with the technicals, probing the LZ. This is the LZ on our screen right here, the apartment buildings. And this is where they need to get the recruits. The recruit's still on the far side of the map. Squad 1, very far from the objective. Well, far from the LZ, they're on the objective, right? Yeah. Watching these techies circle around like sharks, smelling yep, blood. Yeah, Russia does spot those. Kills. We see both MTLBs now right, staging over here on the on the west. Going back to Rakeem, you're gonna cross train bridge that with dishka techie, man, I love that thing. Swing south and follow that MSR by Desna. Excuse me, not the dishka, the SPG techie. Through two's location and a bus. Okay. So much fun to ambush. Two and run you. Man, they got an MTLB stuck. We got the good one. Oh, sounds like uh, the Russians might have gotten one of the MTLBs stuck. Good thing they brought two. And it could fit 19. Yeah, good thing they brought two. <laughs> Squad two from Russia now moving uh, moving in. Copy that. On your building? Yeah, on my building. LaRue just called out contacts here on my building. Not sure what he's smoking. No one around. We've lost guys on those tracks. They're somewhere between squads two and three. And they are all holed up in these buildings. What have we got? Just five up here? On yeah, the hard point itself? So squad they two in the southwest around. a little we can bit. See, <laughs> can see birthday boy Google Tracks getting his binox out. He's with the full two MTLBs over here. Uh, and he's just waiting for the right call, the right time to push his men in. Uh He's scanning the LZ. If he sees a weak presence, we might just see Google go straight for the gold and roll the tracks in. We'll see how ballsy he decides to get with it. All right. Yeah, since uh, the position. Russians lost one of their MTLB, MTLBs to driving, it's going to come across this train track in the north. Um, the techie's going to find it, assuming no one moves. And then it can call in the other MTLB for support, and then it won't stand a chance. It's three we're gonna, we're gonna heavy guns fire, versus one. Granted, that one is loaded to the brim with infantry, mm -hmm. but still. We'll see how it goes. Russia now scrambling to regroup. We got too many elements caught in too many weird places. MTLB now making it back, finally. And if you're seeing our maps up and the little red dots floating around, those are other, those are dead players who are now watching the play. Um, might be a little bit confusing. Uh, uh, command, be advised, you see a red dot with a number in it and the arrow, that's a right now. enemy just... from my perspective, sure. squad lead. By all means. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this ends up. Uh, Sometimes watching can be more fun than playing. You see yes. all, all of it from yeah, whatever angle you want to figure out who killed you, just you, who you could have killed, how close you were to people. At least do some and good of course you can watch the stream afterwards, figure it all out from a totally different perspective. Don't worry, Chris, because Miyamoto's going to take him out. Copy. Looks like Squad 2 yeah, successfully Matt, got pulled in, in hurry. to the LZ. Yeah, the up. yeah, we do have a lone Russian over here who might be able to decrude this SVG techie. We're going to follow him closely right here. But he has the drop. He is right on the other side. But if his footsteps right, are too loud, he might get heard. Left. Oh, yeah. oh nope, he gets the us. gunner. Shit, I think he ran He's engaged. Contacts. Yep. See if we can get the driver as well. Yeah. Nope, that driver's going to push off. Gunner's still good. I think it's half as effective now. All right, they're gonna be coming from our east, so, um, Unfortunately, he's pushing it straight into the path of the... Uh, Actually, no, you should be able to bullet of the other tracked vehicle here. Let's see if he... Yeah, let's follow in this uh, MTL. Oh, Techie engages the uh, windows. They're just putting fire on. I don't think they have an actual target. Yeah, just... I think that might be a distraction. Let's see if Google decides to push in the armor right now. Yeah, armor's moving now. This is a distraction to the northeast. Both teams using distraction. We see this, uh, both MTLBs fully loaded with troops. They're going to beat squad one back here. So Russia's going to be fighting undermanned on this location. 
squad. Uh, yeah. We can see both the vehicles no. just rushing across the Start open Start making here. noise. Keep making noise. Oh, they're getting called out so the Russians know what's going on. Copy that. Two tracked vehicles approaching from the west. Called out multiple times. And they're gonna dismount real close here. Oh, MTLB hits a tree. They're gonna keep pushing in. This is so close. This firing position up on this hill is uh, is great for the MTLBs. You've got cover and you can shoot. 270 degrees straight into the town. Wow, they went right up on that LZ and unloaded a swarm of Yeah, troops. you can see all those militiamen <laughs> now pushing. See the other MTLB putting rounds in through the uh through the windows. Jack, hold that bling with your life. I'm about to that is a lot of very tightly yeah, packed people. Um they need to get some spacing here. Yeah, good grenades right here could One do a lot of damage. Both MTLBs pushing right off now. to the west. Pony in a very, very bad position. These Russians need, or these, excuse me, these militias need to get aggressive. They cannot be staying here. We see that aggression happening right now, crossing the streets of the south. MTLB is providing covering fire. We there have a we distraction go. with the techies over the northeast. Lots of fire now coming in with these two uh, MTLBs. And these militia need to get aggressive. They need to start moving. They're oversaturated on this one spot. Good squad move over here on the south crossing the road. But there's still about 15 militiamen stacked on one building. You can tell they're running out of places to hide. They don't really have enough cover. One trying to breach right now. He gets in. That should be the call to continue the pressure and move. But there's not much movement going on over here. Whoever's squad leader that is, they need to start getting these guys moving. And uh, keep that pressure up because all their momentum that they just had is rapidly, oh, rapidly. Uh, no! Staying. The Russians just lost their second MTLB to terrain. They tried to jump a gulch and it flipped. So they're going to have to walk the last 200 yards. Ouch. Both heavy armor assets down from driving. Brutal. <laughs> They just put the call out. They flipped this one too. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, the command chat. I don't know if we caught that on stream or not, but watching that thing flip was. Best pony is blacklisting them, the drivers, <laughs> from driving. <laughs> All right, well, this infantry squad better push itself out there because they need help back in the city. If they get there, it'll be about even. The SPG driver is probably going like, All right, where the hell are the MTLBs? Come on, I want to shoot this thing. Oh wow, that's a brutal call that we just heard out. Apparently the Russian have no lats left. They had one and he disconnected. Everything that could go wrong is Whoops. going wrong right now. <laughs> well, I mean, if they get the recruits in there somehow, uh, you don't have to kill the MTLBs, right? That would be considered a pin. See, Ru uh, Militia is still trying to find a way to get in. They put out smokes and then they didn't move. We still have six people and one grenade. I think it's just uh, Pony now in this building. Oh, that saw is what got this player. And Russia really just in a bad spot. Just really, really bad spot now. The squad coming in from the east, I'm sure. Uh, well, at least they have the element of surprise because those MTLBs didn't give them away at all. There's some silver lining on that. Here we go. Rush, uh, militia starting to move Militia's on that making aggression. some movement here. I'm with you. This is a yep. fine fucking mess. Room. Clear the Quote, well, you got best the SKS, of course. <laughs> Look at this Russian squad stacking up on the this wall. This militia squad, yeah, breaching. now pushing in. Our They're breaching squad. two buildings simultaneously. Three buildings simultaneously. This is good. Uh, Pony oh, goes oh, down to the MTLB. The I think streets. he tried to stick his head out the window. He gets snapped right back by the MTLB. And now no one's watching the windows. They're just kind of walking through the building. And everything that could go wrong for uh, Russia is, to... is going wrong. 
That rush is going one and four finally squad. on the scene here. Yep. They need to get there. Oh, and they're running into the second militia MTLB in the woods. It hasn't found anybody yet. How many yet, lats but... do we have alive for your uh, rush Man, here? Rush, I heard it call out that we only have one lat oh, left. Oh, Sonny's got the lat. He's coming up right buildings. now. Clear the buildings one by one, guys. Oh, he gets he connects. Good, good RPG round. He's gonna scare him off. Yeah, he's running. And now we are in an interesting position. Russia now trying to hold these buildings mixed with militiamen. Yeah, this is gonna get exciting. Gonna have a lot of CQB combat here. Looks like the Russians have sent one squad, one fire team wide to our left, at least my left, another one to the right. The recruits are hiding in the back. Russia now losing control of that outer building. They only have two buildings left that they're holding. Mm, holding? Mm, mm, I'd say the <laughs> middle one there is contested. Yeah, this middle one is definitely contested. Actually, they have full control of it now. If someone tried to push in, they still have control. Ooh, RPG, second RPG Ooh. goes off on the MTLB. That, the gonna, that gets decrewed. They jump out. They know that that thing might pop any second now with two RPG hits on it. Russia actually doing surprisingly well. I think they're evening out the kills right here, but the second MTLB is going to be uh, pretty dangerous. I'm surprised command has made it this long. Usually one command goes down almost instantly. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Google has been down for a few minutes, so... Our main problem is going to be getting recruits into that building alive. Yep, that is going to be a problem. MCLB on the flank here, opening up. They see these uh, infantrymen, and they're going to try to get just fire on it with the uh, HMG. Oh, body just went flying for no reason. I love that. Pull this off, it'll be a fucking miracle. Pony is actually in a okay place to to take this uh, back right now. A lot of the militia are in not the most optimal positions. And they're they're actually making a push right now across a quite the epic push across the biggest open field I've ever seen. Close quarters battle right here. Couple get shot, but they're uh, they're all right. They're going to be uh, bandaging up here. That man that was taking the corner and covering them goes down. He actually his pistol uh, We're actually able to pivot Pony's building getting overrun. He's throwing a frag down the stairs. Let's see if that That's gets dangerous. him. That's dangerous. Real dangerous. <laughs> oh, almost Ooh. gets him. Doesn't kill anybody. He's going to counter push down the They're stairs as that pops. Oh, They're that's good. Bandaging. That's a good push. That's Go a good down. push. That's a two good kills. push. <laughs> gets two. And these buildings really, really equalizing the uh, the playing field right here. Yeah, they're right outside your building. Yep. We're making them work for it. Yep. Yep. You are a flaccid walrus. <laughs> oh, the names. All right. Four, you're not going to be able to cross. And that. Russia actually <laughs> holding yeah, quite the surprising defense. Yeah. MTLB's coming. We're just that MTLB hard. hasn't really done anything. Shit. Got the recruits hiding out on the east. Silverman, one of them. Done great as a recruit. I hope he's learning a lot. That's what you're supposed to do as a recruit, right? Learn. Watch, watch and learn. Don't get shot. Stay alive. <laughs> well, you can't do much of them. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Eight militia alive. RPG goes out. One, two, three, six. Russia surprisingly has the numbers. The thing is, they don't have lat they don't to have the armor. the MTLV. All they gotta do is sneak those guys. Oh, in. oh. Does he see him? 
Oh, look at this movement. Oh, oh, yeah. oh he's getting shot at. He Shit. might go down. Who's that? Shadowed? Shots trading back and forth. One of them has no cover. There we go. Pony's that fire bush. team actually getting ballsy, pushing Ooh. back out again. A lot of maneuvering here by Russia. It's good to see them actually getting uh, pretty aggressive. You can see him actually moving to take back the pl the, the the city. And this MTLB is like trying to find an angle, but it just can't. Pony pushing really far out here. If you can get caught in a bad spot, MTLB's rolling around the corner. Rolling around the corner. Get in cover, buddy. Oh, this poor, he's dead. Wow. He's dead. This wow. Oh, wow. He actually got him. Both but his one. pistol. Is that his pistol? He's been using that. He was using that in the stairwell. I think is he's he out of the ammunition? He can't be. The, we've lost one recruit out of the four. They're now stationed on this northern side of the building. MTOB rolling. Russia right actually Russia. retook this building over here as well. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Wow. Wow. There's only two militiamen on and foot now. Wow. And the MTOB. Is... Wow. This is this is actually impressive. Despite literally everything that could have gone wrong going wrong. Pony is pulling out. Oh. Ooh. Pony That's is pulling scary. out. <laughs> A surprising uh, defense here. Stay back, stay back. Get out of here. Get out of here. One That's funny you say the word. I'll make run for it. Stay fucking back. It is right And there. now it's just a very dangerous game of cat and mouse. So where do the recruits actually need to get to? Which building? You can see Shadow over here trying to distract don't, the don't MTLB me, with small arms fire to distract him. Hey, it works. And it's He's working. working yeah, the MTLB is now looking this direction. <laughs> But it's not moving. He needs smokes. They need to smoke the the gunner. So yeah, then he can't just move. See. Oh, there we go. He's moving now. You can't track it. This isn't War Thunder. MTOB is turning around. Oh shit! Now you're fucked. <laughs> he's mad oh, now. Here we go. Now he's go. He's taking the bait. Oh, through the through the fence. Go through the fence. Russia now making the play. What that MTLB distracted. They're going to push hard and fast. They take out one militiaman. Pushing into the room with aggression. Can they get two? Oh, no. no. He doesn't look in while he cleans the building. And now the MTLB is going to flank him. MTLB is rushing in. Oh, oh this, that went wrong. No aggression. You didn't see that. There was no follow through. They got that first guy. But you got to push, push, push through that door. You cannot stop. So, where, which building? Wow. That was oh, nice wow. That there. guy. He gets Who one tap by Stray Dog. Is that Stray Dog? I nice believe shot. that was Stray Dog. a good angle. <laughs> Russians just getting shot in the open by the MDLB. This thing virtually indestructible at this point. There's no lat. They could trick it into flipping itself over. We've seen two die this round that way. <laughs> and this MDLB is just ready. This is going to be uh, quite an interesting deadlock if the MTLB decides to just stop right here in the center, watching yeah. the uh, extraction zone. It looks like he's going to keep trying to push on through. So, Thurman, who's we got? Oh, it's oh, they're making a break for dog? it. They're making a break for it. Recruits are now in the extraction the building. Recruits are in. Nice. And I think the these, uh, yep, they're dismounting here. It's Krusty and okay. Peyton. We should see an admin broadcast relatively soon, signifying that they have reached the uh, building. So the MTLB dropped off its gunner. Now he's soloing that, and uh, Peyton grabbing the other vehicle here. MTLB rolling back through town, see if he can sniff anybody out. I think at this point he probably knows he's invincible. There's no lats come out in ages here. Wait, how many are alive? Oh, there's three alive. There's Peyton, excuse me, Peyton, Krusty, and Cantador. Oh yeah, this has a gunner. So there were three in that MTLB the whole time. Interesting. Yeah. I the think they were still waiting for the Russian MTLBs, but since they never saw any... <laughs> I'd be confused if I was them. Yeah, I would be extremely confused as well. I think that element of surprise might have been enough to like. Yeah, it was oh, a. It was a tactical decision. Getting shot at. 
losing the MTLD. He's gonna have to repair him, or not repair himself, bandage himself. You just kind of repairing yourself. Oh, you're so close. Up and left. Up and left. Up. He's upstairs. Come on. Yeah. That house is paper mache to those bullets. Oh. oh. Ooh. Puts an RPG out. And he Misses. goes down. Is he down? He's down. And there we go. <laughs> that probe coming out from the admin team now. That's not something you want to hear when you're the last that man alive on the ledger. You want to hear. Oh, Ooh, he's just going to light up the building with the... That almost took out two heads right there. <laughs> I'm not sure if he has enough rounds to, uh, to get everyone, though. That was a good call by Silverman there. Get away from the walls and don't stick your feet out. That's one of my pet peeves. Not being aware of your body and how they interact with the environment. Oh, oh he's, he's just, he's lighting it up. They're scared. Everyone's prone. <laughs> okay, so how long? 16. Until one team's wiped. Or they, unless or these, they unless those guys, the there team goes the engine. Let's see when they just get out. out? Yeah. No. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like when you're in a building and there's an MTLB outside. Oh, he's, he's still trying for it. Oh, he got out. Oh, see how long he survives. That's one out. That's Krusty out. Oh, there's two of them. Both of them out. Nice. One's got a grenade. Oh, nope. And get back in. Get back in. <laughs> oh, and he's down. And that's it. That's the game. Russia pulling off a surprising, a surprising, surprising turnaround comeback yeah. after losing both vehicles and their lats to shenanigans. Best pony is stroking his own ego right here. <laughs> He's not as angry now that he won. He would have been quite furious at those MTLB drivers. Be I wonder if they're still going to be uh, blacklisted. There's, there's no way he's his run. All Just right, round two <laughs> coming up. It's going to take a little break here. Uh, regroup, reset. This one actually takes a little bit to reset. we got to move some assets around to yeah, get it so going. We'll be, uh, but, uh, we'll be taking a little break here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to put on a couple trailers for you guys. We'll be back with round two. My name is Carm Cut, founder and director here at Squad Ops. I'm joined by Tedish. Yo. One of our admins and Just commentators. An admin. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Penn behind the scenes working all those multicam perspectives for you guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much. This was squadops.gg Operation Fishhook Round 1. We'll be going to Round 2 momentarily. There's no one-life events. If you'd like to uh, learn more, head over to squadops.gg. Check out youtube.com slash squadops or twitch.tv slash squadops to watch more. But yeah, we're going to pause it right here, get a quick break, intermission, and we'll be right back with Round 2.